Go to w.gg and use code NOCHOICEGV for 10% off any order. No artificial colors, no fillers, zero calories, and zero sugar. Use code NOCHOICEGV, that's N-O-C-H-O-I-C-E-G-V, at checkout for 10% off. Thank you, W, for sponsoring this video. (laughs) (laughs) Oh my god. That's so bad. that, That is, that is... (laughs) <laughs> We're being haunted by the ghost of Game Boy Advance. <laughs> oh, my, what is my name? I'm Screenburn. I'm Duke. And today we're back with another episode of Dragon Quest. You don't mind us while we're going to be complaining about seeing the ghost of the Nintendo 64 The ghost controller. of Nintendo Day Past. <laughs> the ghost of Nintendo Switch Online. La- last time we got a very sad story for Eric. His little sister is now gold. She's now gold. She died right here, except she's not here anymore. Le- like, literally right here. Oh, right she the- melted. She, Le- she, she died literally where the Game Boy Advance she, is. She is now gold viscera. Yeah. It's not your fault. After what happened, it's not your away. fault. It's not your Going fault. Well, the Nintendo place. system's echoing at him. It's not your fault. <laughs> Play Mario! <laughs> it's not your fault. It's not your fault. Play Mario. It's not your fault. It's not your fault. It's not your fault. Have you ever <laughs> this is why you cut out our audio. But sometimes it's funny, and I don't want to. It, the funny is for you. <laughs> Have you ever played Kirby? <laughs> Shut up. I got lotion on my dick. I'm stoking my shirt. <laughs> I almost want to cut out his dialogue when he's saying that. Told me to go after the orb. That if I did, I'd meet the luminary somewhere deep underground, and that if I helped him, I'd finally be forgiven for killing my sister. First, I didn't believe a word of it. Kind of circles I was moving in. You learn pretty quickly not to trust anyone but yourself. Because he said, I, I thought I'd be I forgiven. The orb. No, you're just I going down. <laughs> and I met you. Oh! <gasps> oh! Your memory, laddie. It's back. No, it's not. That's only like a, t- a near tidbit of it. You only needed to remember how much that we knew for, so it's fine, don't worry. kind of a pain these last few days, huh? I'll make it up to you, I promise. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows if I'll ever find the forgiveness the seer promised me. But everything else he said came true. Maybe that will too. So the seer appeared to Eric as a guy. Mm. But the seer appeared to us as a lady. Uh-huh. And, the, and the seer isn't real? And is like, maybe dead? Saw it, right? The seer is the dead. She killed herself to help Eric get out of the right sticky here. situation he was in. Ah. If this Gildigger guy is collecting all the gold he can get his hands on, maybe he took her too. I heard those golden goons saying he's held <gasps> up in a castle north of here. I'm gonna get me a back if it's the last thing I do. It was I in fact the last thing. Those golden goons gooning. It looks like we're all headed the same way. After all, we've got some snipple. We're gonna have an extra member of the team, an extra blue-haired bitch. Another, another, another uh, martial artist. Another yodeler. <laughs> another. <laughs> Eric has finally rejoined the party for real this time. We swear, yay! Why are you posing like that? <laughs> Cause he's wait a little more. He is the top wait. Gentleman. Wait. Peter, how did you get up there? I don't know, Lois. I'm stuck. <laughs> call, mm-hmm. call scientists. Call scientists. Am I gonna die here? <laughs> now that <laughs> now his memory is restored, Eric remembers all the skills he used to know. Finally. All we, the skills that we're not gonna use them. Yeah. <laughs> hundred and twenty-seven. Oh, he's still useless. <laughs> Nav. Did you ever use Eric in your play, we, Jinzu? He was my he was my main damage dealer mm. because he does the most damage out of any other character. But now we're doing damage. I mean, you can have the main character be the damage dealer. Um, I had the damage de- dealer be the jack of all trades. He could do he could do a pretty decent amount of damage. He could heal everybody. He <coughs> could uh, he could do AOE magic. Um. But yeah, no. For the most part, I had him. I I had the setup mostly be for Eric, cause he gets he gets this shit, he gets dual wielding, he gets the victimizer sleeper hit bullshit. No, 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 no. <laughs> victimizer. I was like, wait a second, I didn't get that one yet. <laughs> I could technically. It's, we can never get Eric another point again. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he's gonna get it when he levels up again. But like, look at 
uh the in the like in the knife thing above victimizer cobra strike so so cobra strike is really good because it does it does poison damage and then if you use victimizer victimizer does more damage if the opponent is poisoned or has some other status affliction yeah so you do that and then if you look at the guile path uh which yeah, is the top left yeah this one which... he uh he gets a move called fuck i forgot what it's called but he gets he, he basically splits into he three gets a move. He, he splits into three and for one turn he does triple damage Ooh. so you do everything that i said beforehand and then you do the the triple move and then you just nuke him you do like you do like 2,000 damage. <laughs> 280 attacks. I kind of want that for him. I want it to be literally like impossible to hit. What is that? Ah, surprise! Bonus skill points awarded. Okay. Yay! <laughs> this panel hides a special surprise. 10 bonus skill points received. That's lucky. <laughs> okay. I don't think that's ever happened to us. No. Cash back. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> this move. Divide. Right. Create two doppelgangers triple the amount of damage done by attacks. We're getting that. <laughs> yeah. And then... So do we plan to use them? No. I would save the rest of it because look look above. There's space for these all this year. You, you're going to unlock new abilities later. How do you get those? I'm pretty sure we do the story. You killed, yeah, you killed, you killed Gildegar. Yeah. <laughs> We get gold abilities. <laughs> I, I'll be honest, like I'm so Whoa! used to. I just had an R RPG moment there for a second of you. You, you kill gig. I was like, you're gonna kill God, aren't you? <laughs> no, that's Dark Souls in the first boss. Look at that. that what cool. did you say? Uh, it's the Taj Mahal. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Really? <laughs> and then over here, there's a thing right there. Excuse me, bear. So seven wonders of the world, right? Yes. Yes. Kong is the eighth. <laughs> <laughs> what are the other six again? The pyramids, the Great Wall of China, Mount Rushmore. <laughs> the, the reason I ask is because I remember. Whoa! Fenrir fangs. The reason I ask is because I remember seeing a thing where it was like, uh, like there's two di there's two different ages of the Seven Wonders of the World. Yeah. Like the old world and then like the more new world. Yeah. I forget which one Taj Mahal is part of. That's a... Should I've... be New World, right? Probably. I would imagine, because it's pretty young compared to everything else. Yeah. Because that's the reason why when you said the pyramids, I was like, but that was like... But the, 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 the seven wonders of the world I know includes... Yeah. Why don't you ask the infinite machine near you? <laughs> I was just having a conversation. Yay. But we can, instead of speculating, <laughs> we can just have the answers. <laughs> Oh, green taco, green taco, green taco. Look up right, up right, green taco. What? Green taco. I thought you were saying green taco. <laughs> 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 yeah, I really did too. <laughs> hey, you caught me, haven't you? Please don't eat me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't taste very good. Just like you never know, saw me. This is the second year in Illuminati, aren't you? I think you are a taco. <laughs> I'll praise the one who controls the clocks, but what am I waiting for? Orale, wait. Un minuto. You're uh, the Illuminati. <laughs> <laughs> Oi, wait. Orale. Oi, vatos. <laughs> That's so so... Illuminati, wait. <laughs> it's a green taco. <laughs> taco, what? There you go, more, more to the right. Up to the, there's a chest up there. Oh, you... There's also a man. Man, I can't wait. Okay, here, I can mention it now. So I looked up, okay, what about the seven wonders of the ancient world? These ancient wonders are the Colossus of Rhodes, Great Pyramids of Giza, Hanging Gardens of Babylon, Oh yeah. Statue <gasps> of Zeus at Olympia, Temple of Artemis at Ephesus, Mausoleum at Halicarnassus, Halicarnassus, Hal Hal <laughs> and Lighthouse of Alexandria. Right next to it says, of these wonders, four were destroyed by earthquake, two were destroyed by fire, and one is still standing. Yep. God damn. I like how majority of them are just Greek. <laughs> yeah. The causes of Rhodes, that was, um, but that was a uh, Roman, I think. That was the giant statue of Nero. Mm. Oh, <laughs> Fuck yeah! <laughs> wow, that's inaccurate when I see the, uh, like, I look up seven wonders of the modern world, Jesus. and it lists, like, four of them, and then says, click to open 20 more. What? 
<laughs> Should I get this one? Cast of sugar. So that increases the effectiveness of the user spells. I mean, if you want to use them as a support, then yeah, that's really good. Yes. Okay, here we go. Seven Wonders of the World. The Colosseum in Italy. Petra in Jordan. Ch- uh, Chicken Itza in Mexico. Chicken Christ Itza. the Redeemer in Brazil. Oh, yeah. Machu Picchu in Peru. Taj Mahal in India. And the Great Wall of China. Yeah. And another one. Kong. <laughs> what do you think would be the Great Wonders of the World of, like, today? My nuts. I only wanted to say brain rot <laughs> for each each one. I'll say like maybe like the the Chrysler building, like brain a... rot stage one, brain rot stage two. <laughs> the, the, the first, the first wonder of the world is Gibby the toilet. The second one of the world is Baby oh. Shark. The third one is, is Baby Yoda. <laughs> well, that's the issue with like the, the modern. The bluey fandom. <laughs> the modern age is like it, we didn't really make. A lot of architecture nowadays is just not standout-ish enough. Well, architecture isn't the biggest thing for us anymore because there's other stuff like intergalactic travel. Uh... Do you think the world's tallest building would be counted as one of the world's uh, oh, modern yeah, war- marvels? Go. Yeah, like the uh, the Burj oh. Khalifa. Yeah. I think I think a good example of like technological marvels would be like the the fucking the collider, the Hadrian uh, Collider. Yeah. yeah. They keep talking about it like it's some, like, terrifying thing. (laughs) Because it kind of is. Yeah. Hear me out. The Pyramid in America. The Bass Pro Shop Pyramid in in (laughs) Nashville, Tennessee. That's what he's referring to. Modern Marvel? Do you consider that to be a modern (laughs) Marvel, Jinsu? I went to Las Vegas, and they had a pyramid and Eiffel Tower, and they had naked women. <laughs> they had this guy that was handing out cards with naked women on him for some reason. And he looked like he was cracked out. Modern Marvel, Jade's Rack. <laughs> <laughs> women. <laughs> women. <laughs> I've got, excuse me, sir, I've got to handy heal myself. Wait, go into the Funny Forge. The Funny Forge. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, sir. I must forge. Forge ahead. Extensive experience on this quest has granted him new crafting capabilities. Maximum focus increased by one. Thanks. <laughs> I now concentrate a little bit better. Oh my god, that's amazing for Eric. Uh, what was one of them? Uh, uh, I saw a similar eh. discussion for uh, uh, Mark Check. Markiplier on his podcast. Are you going to use Eric? No. You mentioned the internet as one. You, buddy. The, also, the, it's a three-star difficulty, so you would get you would get bullshit. Then. Yeah. Let's see. Let's see how bad. Oh, okay, okay, okay. You want to spend the money? Buy I it. don't have the necessary materials. You don't. You can buy a savvy sapphire. That's stupid. All right, never mind. But but the the internet is a ah, it's an interesting one. It's more of like a concept. I love them. Like obviously, like Let there's me places. Kiss them. There's places that have the internet and like the actual like mm, things that make up the internet and all that kind of stuff yeah the internet did change the world in all fairness it it definitely turned things completely we were not ready for the internet we We were not ready for the internet i still say this to this day because i see so many families say that the internet was a mistake and i see like it joked about the internet was a mistake no the internet was not a mistake because it allowed people like a chance to actually learn more than what they would have learned from their government we are, yeah. we are we're simultaneously <laughs> smarter and dumber at the same time because yes. of the internet. One damage. Like, what was it? Um, uh, Like, it's a simple thing, but, like, there's that uh, the thing in Minecraft of the library with all banned books. Yeah, that anybody can load into the server, uh, into that world, and you're able to... That is incredible. ...literally read anything that's there. It's incredible. Like, the fact that people thought of that. They were And they were able to do that and <laughs> yeah. kind of, like, work around it. Very interesting. But, uh... I'm not a big fan of the government. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> I like how Savando is also pretty useful in attacking here with that metal slash. That's going to be the national anthem of whatever country is new. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a big fan of the government. Sorry, sorry. Let's see. I'm going to explore here for a little bit. I want to be thorough. I'm going to be... Attacking that guy. <laughs> <laughs> also, what does that? 
What is that? It's a bird! It's the bird! The bird! It's a bird! He joined the party! It's a Look, he joined He's the party! He's with us! <laughs> <laughs> You're not one of us! I would use Eric before I use you! That's a threat. <laughs> <laughs> I would use Hendrik before I'd use you. Oh, dude. That's disrespectful. That's disrespectful. I do find it funny when, like, certain characters, like, take up such focus during certain arcs of this. Yeah. And so other characters just seem like they fade away into the background. Yeah, like, Reb. He's kind of just the narrator now. He's the narrator for this section, but that means that he has some kind of focus. Consider, I have not heard Hendrickson we haven't, speak in a hot while. We haven't even seen him. <laughs> yeah, we have. Well, not in this episode, but last episode he was pretty... He was alive. He's still available, right? Yeah, yeah, I can still use him. Yeah, you can switch him out right now. Go to tactics. Lineup. There. He's you, right there, you and can, yet... You can freely rotate everyone in and out without losing a turn. It's like, okay, I say this because, like, obviously there are shows out there where it's, like, massive cast, where each character is kind of important. And so this one just feels kind of funny of just, like, oh, yes, the three characters that we look at. Stop blowing your mana. Yeah. And, like, uh, I'll, <laughs> I'll see it sometimes of, like, some shows, the way that they handle that is actually pretty good of they split the party for a while so that other characters can get a bigger focus. They, they make their own, like, B, <clears throat> B plot and all that kind of stuff. They do that with it. One Piece has done that perfectly with, like, Whole Cake Island. Yeah. I can say? Like, we haven't seen... We haven't seen, like, Zoro in, like, 50-plus episodes. Yeah, because... <laughs> well, with Whole Cake, what they did with that and Dress Rosa... Whoa, well, Gear Falcon, Falcon Slash. Hell yeah. That puts the Falcon Slash to shame. <laughs> That's He's funny. the only one with the Gear Falcon Slash. Interesting. We haven't seen Frankie in so long. Yeah. I'm just imagining you're just sad. Yeah, we yeah. haven't. Yeah. <laughs> I think if you if you did normal swords with, with the hero, then getting the Falcon Slash, you, you get the Falcon Slash pretty early, and it's it's pretty reliable. It's like, it's like four mana for like double damage, basically. Ooh. I... I don't doubt that the sword was probably the better option for the hero. Um, honestly, it makes no real difference. If you want to do raw damage, then the great sword is better. Sword, yeah. um, so, ma'am. But if you wanted to do like other stuff, but still have like a pretty cool weapon to do things with, then doing the the one-handed sword, the normal long sword would be would be fine. Um, the the MacGuffin, the story, the story sword is a one-handed. Is, is a one-handed sword. Which is the only issue in this situation. Which is, yeah, that was why I did one-handed when I first played this, but every, every subsequent playthrough afterwards, I did great swords every time. It's, it's just so cool. It's great swords. My, it's so cool. one of my favorite things of, um, in D&D, &D, they have this uh, stat for weapons specifically, where uh, there are some weapons where they can be handled with two hands or one hand. Mm -hmm. uh, that's actually like a big thing with... Um, in uh, Diablo three, yeah, where only the uh, the Crusader class you can have a two handed weapon, but then you could also like do a thing where like if you get the skill you can actually make it um a one handed weapon, and you can also have a great shield oh, at hey. the same time. Golden dog reference. No. Oh. Whatever the name of the dog it's is. It's not Sandy. It's Sandy. not Sandy. It's not. It's not Sandy. But the demon it, is contained. But no, it's the reference you guys are talking about. How everyone pets the golden dog yeah. statue and it stays gold. Yeah. <laughs> also, look how giant this cannon is. What do you mean? That's a pretty regular size. This cannon. is not a regular size cannon. <laughs> Tchaikovsky in the background. Get me that cannon. <laughs> Put that in my opera. <laughs> On my symphony. <laughs> Hello, sir. Why would you do no, that? no, 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 That's what you get from mashing A, like a little casual poopy head. Okay, you know what he still looks like now, especially? What? Uh, you watch it with me, the DC, uh, the DC animated universe. I totally remember what you're going to be talking about. I totally remember it. Uh, what was his name? Uh, that robot dude that, uh, like, uh, was able to adapt. What? Z Zeta? As, wasn't it Asmo or something like that? What uh, show are you talking about? I don't remember. Uh, Just League. Unlimited. The robot that was able to As, Oh, oh, the red, red, red tornado. No, no, no. Oh, was shit. red tornado a robot? He's a robot. Yeah, he's a robot. 
That's weird. I feel like the red tornado thing superpower is now meaningless. <laughs> You're just a robot. Yeah. You should be robot tornado. <laughs> robot tornado. <laughs> red robot tornado. Red tornado robot. Oh. Excuse me, sir. Amazo. Amazo. You Mysterio. remember Amazo? His... Do you have a picture of Amazo so that I can probably remember? Literally that. Remember? The golden... He... he was holding Lex in his hand as Lex had the most fucking... Sick... Oh! That guy! No. Oh, that You don't remember Amazo? He's the, he's the guy who's like, I yeah. must know. Tell me why my dick is blue. It's because you're green. <laughs> <laughs> but no, he does have literally the sickest moment, in all fairness, of just like, like, okay, tell me, what is my purpose? <laughs> Go find out. I don't fucking know. Just, well, Lex I don't care. <laughs> Lex basically says, your purpose is just to basically uh, see it all. Oh, yeah. We're you're going to live forever. I won't. I I have to basically figure out what the fuck I'm supposed to do. I just want to know what's out there. Yeah. But you will have the chance to experience it. You'll Bet. live forever. <laughs> Bet. And he just accepted it and left. He was like, oh my god. I'll live forever. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, and he left and became a god. Yeah, that guy, yeah. I now remember. Wide motherfucker. Well, that's the art style for Dorito, Tim. Dorito chip, motherfucker. Bruce <laughs> Tim's art style, yeah. That, honestly, Bruce Tim's art style is Dorito men and uber hot women, which curvy what? ass women, which curvy ass women does it for me. Yeah, <laughs> it does it for me. Like, as people started calling like like a, a gooner for that kind of shit, I, but think, it's like, I think fuck that, no man. Bruce Tim, Bru Bruce Tim. Truce Bim. <laughs> Bruce, Truce Bim. <laughs> Bruce, Bruce Tim definitely got me uh, fucking infatuated with the blondies, with Black Canary. Oh. oh. You mean one of the best fucking scenes of her with Green Lantern? All Jade has to be is blonde, and then she's literally Black Canary. <laughs> no. I mean, no. not far off. But, yeah, what was, it, what was the line of, like, uh, you done hit in the sack, or you ready to go a couple rounds with me? Yeah. I am referring to sparring. <laughs> and just green, green out. That could work too. And she takes out, she takes off her fucking coat. Yeah, are, are and, guys, and they added jiggle. <laughs> are you guys ready to do for more casino? Yeah. Yeah. Yay! Oh, I thought I was gonna let you fucking. I thought it was the monster. Oh, like the fake, the mimic uh, casino machine, la, slot, lottery slot machine, slottery machine, <laughs> mimic slot. Sla that's a good name for a uh, uh for an enemy though. Slaughter slottery machine. machine. Oh, I didn't even think about making it like that. Give him to me. Okay. Fuck, I'm stealing that. <laughs> oh, all right. <laughs> all right. Oh! <laughs> oh my god, I'm almost dead. Thanks, Silvano. You got three threes. Yeah. Oh, that stop it. <laughs> <laughs> Don't touch me. <laughs> I I I'm but, feeling uh, confident. There's somebody shared an image of. Uh, shared. Apparently, he made some fan art. Like Bruce Tim made some fan art of uh, Marvel. He had some really cool ones, like you see uh, Wolverine versus Hulk. That looks really cool. It looks sick as hell. There was some others where it was like, okay, Bruce, we get it. We get it. They're hot. Okay. We get it. <laughs> where it was Medusa and uh, Black Bolt. <laughs> and I'm already <Medusa>. rock hard. <laughs> yeah, no. Specifically, it was like Medusa was nude, but covering herself with her hair, pulling Black Bolt over. Hell yeah. And I was like, Jesus Christ, man. Hell yeah. And it's like, I mean, it is the same man that drew Harley Quinn and... My uh, man has good taste. <laughs> <laughs> it's like Dark Souls. It's the same man that created Harley Quinn. Oh, hell yeah. On a super respect there. He created Harley Quinn and then made uh, uh, Poison Ivy so important with uh, with her. Yeah. Why would you do that? I like redheads and crazy blondes. <laughs> Why he dropped Miss Marvel like that? I... Don't hate it. <laughs> That's what her original outfit looked like. Okay. But why he draw her like that? <laughs> Do you know the funny thing? Her tits could poke my fucking eyes out. That's... He likes a pony. Like, when I say that's, like, literally her first appearance, that actually is. Like, really? That's literally what she looked like early on. It's awesome. 
it just means that he really likes him pointy. <laughs> also, that's, yeah, how he draws women. Like, that's always been how he draws women. Yeah. Like, he always draws them very, very uh, pointy. Whoa! Sad. Oh, well. No, he just gives them all thin-ass waist. <laughs> oh, there they are! Let's see its name. Let's see its name. Group of penny pinchers! <laughs> uh. I, had to, I had to fight him. I had to fight him. Now I can just kill them all. <laughs> it's kind of interesting the number of like suits that uh, Miss Marvel, Captain Marvel, has gone through. It's kind of interesting. It is. It is very interesting when they just are like, we got to make this guy make, we got to make this character look completely different than what they look like right now. Holy fucking moly! <laughs> <laughs> well, mean, meanwhile, there's super. Yeah. Meanwhile, there's Superman, which I don't think has a different design. Like, like, it's they're all. You don't know about blue Superman and red Superman? Well, well the f okay, when you look at the actual designs of the suits, though, they're very similar to the original. No, I mean blue Superman. I don't know what you're talking about, then. <laughs> it's not gold. Yo, people give Oda shit for drawing his women like that. Bruce Tim was like the predecessor to fucking Oda. Yeah, you wanna know? You know why I know what gives shit about it? Uh, what? You don't wanna know why people don't give a shit about it? They don't give him shit about it. Just look at that. <laughs> yeah, and yet they give Oda so much shit. Yeah. Well, okay, okay, okay. I'll give I'll give Bruce Tim this over Oda. He actually gives his his female characters They're... different faces, facial expression, uh, facial features. Yeah. Oda also gives plenty of good uh, different facial features. Yeah, not, not in a bad way. or. But no, like I'm that. saying, Just... like, it, actually, they do give Bruce Tim shit nowadays. Oh, really? oh nowadays? Okay. Oh. okay, okay. Nothing sacred. What the hell? The 90s were very experimental. I hate that. Like, I honestly do not like that. It's a good thing I've never, ever been able to see that or been reminded of that. What I remember, it was something like he lost his powers and then it became like he was an electric superhero. And... I should probably... I'm gonna go... <sighs> really go... I, I, I can't... This is my only problem with, like, grinding in certain areas where it's just like, I can't progress without going back and healing and all that kind of stuff. I feel like I can't. Uh, what the, what the, where am I supposed to... Be? Here? Punisher and Bruce Tim style? No, this is incorrect. Punisher? Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah but but like that okay that it's art design art right there that 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 is a very solid art style i will say ah, fat man ah. yeah there you go for carol, carol danvers when she first appeared oh yeah wow it, for some reason at one point they just went like what if we gave her a massive midriff what if we just made her naked <laughs> What if I got hard while drawing? <laughs> what if we just draw part? I, I think we should just give up this karma book. <laughs> Afterwards. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Got very ridiculous with the designs. Guys, I don't think we should make comic books for kids anymore. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. What do you mean I could write it? Hello, sir? 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 And then obviously we have the movie. Dude, there are so many phases that comic writers go through when it comes to designs of characters. It's wild. Like, an easy one that I can think of is uh, there was a time where they thought it was uh, uh, women empowerment when it was uh, Invisible Woman. <laughs> cutting the four out of her chest. Oh, yeah. <laughs> to show off her tits. Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> And it's like, ah, uh, you can tell a dude wrote that one. <laughs> it's women empowerment. Also, my I get to have my dick hard. <laughs> <laughs> I am empowered. My dick is feels so empowered today. My dick feels very empowered. That's like, for the women. <laughs> you you want to know the best one? I'm I'm sure I mentioned this to you, Jinsu. Okay. Power uh, Power Girl. Yeah. Oh hell yeah. Yeah, you know how she has that boob window. Yeah, and that's her symbol. She because she didn't want. She didn't want her symbol to be the Superman thing. That's the story. That, that's the lore reason. The actual reason from the artist is this. Guys, I have a challenge. We're going to make the hole bigger every time it appears. Until the editors notice. <laughs> and so here's what happens if you look through the comics. 
That's awesome. That's fucking hilarious. Respect. Like, honestly, like, respect. I think they even had to, like, increase her chest size at some point. <laughs> yeah. Just to make sure that it wouldn't be as noticed. Which is like, no, it's about the same size hole. Yeah, well, what happened to her chest? Big, Big banger? banger? <laughs> Big banger? Oh, no. That's what happened to her chest. <laughs> Big banger. Big banger! Uh, how did I not know that move existed? Big banger! <laughs> Jesus. It's a uh, great sword ability, or is it? Or is it? Lum- oh no, it's a luminary ability. No, it's a, it, but it's in the great sword. No, side. but it's in the luminary thing. I push B. I see, see how it's in the luminary. Yeah, I see now. But we're, we're gonna be trying to get more big bang next time. Thank you, everybody, so much for watching. If you liked it, subscribe for more. We'll catch you next time. Bye bye. Bye bye. Can I go around the before you end it? Yeah. <laughs> This is my favorite mount ever. Yeah! Punch! <laughs> Holy shit! I love him. Oh, I woke him up. Alright. We're gonna have more fun with this next time. Bye! The 90s are just defined by guys saying, no, no, it's women empowerment. Also, my dick is so hard.